Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I'm a big fan of Kiss Looms. I greatly enjoy mine. And I am cooperating with Kelly at Kiss Looms to make you a playlist of all the basic techniques that you might ever want to know on all of the looms. So welcome and enjoy. Let's make a heel together. I am making a 32 stitch sock. This yarn gets four stitches per inch. So that will work. And we make the heel on exactly half of the stitches, which is also half of the pegs. In this case, I'm going to make a contrasting heel so that you can see it better. Also, I think it will just be fun. So my red yarn, I'm going to leave attached. I will come back and use it in the future. But I'm going to start the heel with my gray and white yarn. Push the yarn tail down in. We'll weave it in later when the socks are done and off the loom. Oh yes, this is my initial yarn tail. I always use it to keep track of where I am. I know that I've completed a round when I'm back to the corner that holds the initial yarn tail. So let's knit half of the stitches off on the gray yarn. I'm using the Ordinary U-Wrap, which we always use on the Kiss. So half of my 32 is, of course, 16. And we'll knit them over. On this video, I'm not going to take any breaks or shortcuts. I'm going to let you watch the whole thing, which is actually kind of boring. I'll try to think of some entertaining things to say. But people have an easier time following what's going on if we do it from start to finish. So that's what we're going to do this time. I have a good many other videos on short rowing a heel, but none of them show every stitch on every row, so that's what we'll do. Okay, we have just completed the 16 stitch row. Now that we have knitted half of the stitches, we're going to wrap the nearest peg to those that knit it off, but we won't knit it. This is just to prevent holes from forming. And we'll wrap all the way back. This process, the first part of the heel is called short rowing in. And the reason that is, is because we're working inward and inward, peg after peg, every row getting a little bit smaller by one stitch. All right, I'm going to wrap and knit stitch number 15 going this direction. And after I knit these all over, I will wrap, but I will not knit stitch number 16. Therefore, this row is one stitch shorter than the previous row. This stitch is getting knitted, but it won't get knitted next row. Time to wrap, but not knit, stitch 16. Now we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And after we've knitted all of these over, we'll wrap this one, but we won't knit it. So after this row is completed, we will have shortened our rows by a total of two stitches. Now here's a rule of thumb that I use for short rowing. You want to end up with roughly one-third of the original stitches in work on the shortest row. Wrapped that one. Time to start wrapping and knitting back normally. Obviously, I can't actually put one-third of the stitches in work here because there's no such thing 
as a number that is one third of 16. Well, it would be a, a number with a fraction and we can't knit a fraction of a stitch. So when that happens, I usually go narrower rather than wider. In this case, I'm going to knit down until the shortest row is four stitches wide. You do not have to figure this out yourself if you don't want to. I wrote a whole book on socks for knitting looms called Socks of All Sorts for Knitting Looms. And in it, every gauge and size is represented in charts along with the way the short rows should proceed for every likely number of stitches. All right. Now it's easy to tell if you lose track which stitch was knitted last. This one was obviously knitted. You can see the knitting over. This one was obviously wrapped and not knitted. But this time we will wrap and not knit the second one from the end. Go back and knit everybody over. This one is to be wrapped and not knitted. The remainder should be knitted over. And after we finish knitting over this row, we have reduced the total stitch count by four stitches, continuing the short row in. We've wrapped that one. We're gonna turn around and begin knitting back the other direction. This time, this is the last stitch that we'll knit. Sometimes I do this different ways. I think the one I'm just doing is the one I really favor. Knit the last stitch that should be knitted to anchor the yarn. Then knit over all the stitches in the row that should be knitted. And then before you begin wrapping, going the other direction, wrap the next needle over. It's just an easy way to get it done without mishap. By now you can see how the short rows are making the middle grow much faster than the edges. This peg was knitted. This one is not going to be knitted, but it will be wrapped. Here's what happens if you fail to wrap at the end of short rows. You get holes in the knitting. And in some instances, that can be a nice design feature. Socks are not one of those instances. This would create a row of holes going up the edge of your heel, which would be uncomfortable and drafty and make the sock um, not wear very well in general. So that's not what we want to do here. But we do want to knit over all of these stitches and wrap, but not knit, the third peg. One, two, three, see those? Okay, this is the last stitch that should actually be knitted this one will be wrapped in a minute. See how there are now two loops on each of the pegs where there are that have been short rowed out of the picture? We will eventually knit those loops back off as we begin to short row out. But they need to collect there for now. If you forgot where you were, See that these make complete wraps with little X's back here? You know those were wrapped but not knitted on purpose, whereas this peg is you wrapped and should be knitted. Now here's a question that comes up. 
should I wrap like this, basically clockwise or counterclockwise? And my opinion is that it does not matter. But I do think consistency looks nicer in the finished product. I think on occasion I have failed to be consistent and the sky didn't fall. But if you can keep it in mind, do keep it in mind and I think you'll like the product better. It's not that it hurts your feet, which some errors in sock making can do, but it's visually less appealing. Okay. These have been knitted. Time to wrap, but not knit that one. Some patterns only say something like short row into four stitches. And as a new knitter, that's going to upset you. But once you know what it means, which you will after this, don't worry about it. You know what you have to do to start. In almost every case, you start on half of the stitches and do exactly what we're doing down to a much smaller number of stitches. The heel will be more pronounced the smaller we go. If I only short rode into six stitches, that would leave me a wider heel at the bottom of my foot than this will if I go to four stitches. And it will also affect the shape of the ankle a little bit. This will be a more shaped and pronounced ankle because I'm short rowing in fairly far. It depends a bit on the shape of the wearer's foot, what's the most desirable. But I've experimented a great deal. I had to stop and fix a boo-boo. I should not have knitted that stitch. I should have wrapped it. And how did I fix that? It caught my eye as I was headed back that there were five wrapped here and only four wrapped here. And this should be the row that evens up the numbers. So if you ever mess up as I just did, just back up and regroup. We only have one more row of short rowing in. Wrap this one, and now we are down to one, two, three, four needles to knit. I said needles, I meant pegs. There was a time when looms were being sold, and the pegs were being called needles in certain brands, and I was working on loom knitting at that time and I got in the habit because the manufacturer wanted me to and now I can't seem to forget it. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six pegs not being held, at, not being knitted at this end. One, two, three, four, five, six not being knitted at the other end. So that is correct. Now we start to short row out. 